Okay, so if you're not in China, you may be wondering what's going to happen with with the teachers, with the schools. Are they when are they going to go back to work? We were initially supposed to go back to work on the seventh, but they extended the holiday holiday, and now it's tentatively um, until the seventeenth. But I know that's going to be pushed. I know that's going to be extended. There's still a mess out there. And as a matter of fact, I reached, I was on Douyin, <laughs> my favorite Chinese app. <clears throat> and this shows that Shanghai will not start classes until the end of February. So I think most municipalities will follow along and they will do the same. They will probably not start classes until March, perhaps. Uh, let me play it a little, a little bit. <laughs> but if you don't speak Chinese, well, I mean, he says Shanghai is going to open at the end of February. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? We're going to have to teach online, online classes. <laughs> yep, we're going to have to do that. Uh, but let me get back to that because uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to use. This is the letter I got from the, from the school. They're saying nobody's infected. The Chinese government is doing everything they can. Um, we are requested to report on our daily, uh, daily, I'm sorry, on our health, health status. We have a few WeChat groups where we go and we type in, uh, you know, the date and our condition. Well, you know, how we're, we're feeling or any, or if we have any symptoms. Luckily, you know, like, you know, would have been okay. I have no symptoms. I think I'm okay so far. I don't want to jinx it, but okay. So, yeah, they said, you know, they give you some tips. If you're in China and you just wear a mask, wash, wash your hands and... Minimize outdoor activities, avoid crowded places, parties and group activities. <laughs> so no square dancing for the IE. Um, wear a mask. What else? If you get a fever, cough, or if you have difficulty breathing, you should go to the hospital. I just heard that it takes 48 hours for the test results to come back after you take the coronavirus test kind of sucks to have to wait for eight out 48 hours right all right um, it says if you are visiting relatives or overseas um, yeah it's really hard to come into China I think a lot of flights have been canceled um, I know I, I heard this morning the UK told its citizens to get out of China it's like, yo, get out of there. <laughs> and also it's advising people not to go, to, not to come to China. Obviously the States did the same thing. And many other country, countries have done the same. Um, if I was to go, if I were to go back to the States, they will uh, put me in quarantine for 14 days, two weeks in a military, military base. So that sucks. I was thinking about going back, but I I felt like this wasn't too well. Not it is serious, but I don't. I think I'm hope, hopeful that they will get it under control. It seems like they're doing a good job, a reasonable job. So that's why I didn't go back. But if I have to go back, I don't know, if things get worse, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So hopefully, keeping my fingers crossed, things will get better. I want to get back to work, man. I'm bored. Home is is really boring. <sighs> okay, so yeah, if you're in China, um, if you're not in China, they actually told uh, two teachers, one who is in Thailand and another one who is in Australia. Two were in Australia on vacation, and they told them to stay away, to stay back there, to stay in Thailand and Australia for two more weeks. Uh, actually, they told them we will let you know when you can come back. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, so if you're in China, you're stuck in China. It's hard to get a flight out of, out of China right now. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. I'm making these videos for people outside of China, I, I, you know, so they can see what's going on. Also, my friends and some relatives, they may be interested in uh, knowing what's going on. So, they may be a little concerned about what uh, my, my, my health. Um, so, yeah, the Chinese Ministry of Education said that we have to start teaching. So, we're going to have to do online online classes, but no, not on campus because, you know, there's a risk of infection. You know, too many people crowded, packed together in a classroom. That's a perfect recipe for disaster, I would say. So we're going to have to do online teaching. And then let me just skip real quick. They just sent us this. They said, if you meet these re these requirements, please get, get it. Um, get back to us so we can have you teach online classes. So it's a little messy. Uh, my school told me just make some videos and share with the, share them with the students, and then we're gonna do some WeChat video conferences. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work, but you know, I don't, I'm just gonna do it because uh, you know, it's, I guess I have no other option, right? I'm I'm here stuck. I'm here stuck in China, so I have no excuse. So yeah, they said, oh, we're gonna. Um, give you a schedule similar to your normal schedule you're gonna follow that and I said it what am I gonna do I'm gonna just meet them on WeChat and what yeah you're gonna watch the videos and answer any questions we'll see what happens I'll, I'll make an update about that later on uh, I, honestly I think it's not gonna work out because they usually I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get into that it's too complicated <laughs> all right so let's move on so they said I do not qualify for this because I've been with this company less than a year, so I do not qualify. Um, yeah, my computer sucks. I have an old computer, so. But yeah, they were asking for volunteers, I guess, people with who would meet these requirements to teach the online classes for the company. Um, I removed the name of the company from this letter because. Uh, uh, that gives us personal information for now, but if you happen to contact me and we talk and you're interested in, I don't know, if we hit it off, I, I can tell you, but I don't want to just post everything on online for people to know. And then my school, yeah, so I told them, listen, I do not qualify for this, so what do you want me to do? And they were like, oh, no, no, you just do the, use the other app. So what's the other app we're going to use? We're going to use this. This is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando, for teaching me that. Uh, you may be watching this video if you're bored, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not getting paid for this to show you the app that we're going to use, but I used it, and I really liked it. Yeah, I may actually use it later on with my students. Mm -hmm. um, it's all in Chinese. But I think if you play around with it, you can figure it out real quick, easily. I'll show you the app. This is the app. Um, it's called, well, this is, you can scan, scan this QR code. And then it'll bring you here. Um, and then you can just download it for iPhone or Android. A tablet, Android tablet, I guess. But I tried downloading it for my Sam, Samsung Galaxy... Uh, I forgot the model number, and it didn't work. But I, I did. I was able to download it from my for my iPhone. Mm. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna use this Chinese app. Han Wei Wei Kebao. This is what the name is. Han Wei Wei Kebao. So um, it is in Chinese, but again, it's it's very simple. You can. Once you open it, uh, can I show you a picture? No, I don't have anything. Let me see. Uh, this, yeah, all right. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, from here. You're going to see something similar to this screenshot. And then you can start the video with this, and you can just speak. And it's going to record audio and whatever you do, like Khan Academy, you know? Um, 
and you can write on the screen, use a pencil, erase, you can add pictures, you can add files. Uh, I liked it a lot. I'm gonna have to use it. I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to do these videos, but they were like they kept kept insisting. So um, I guess I will post some videos after I start making them um, using the app. Again, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm just sharing with you guys because I think it's it's a cool app. One of my managers sent it to us. She is the one who suggested we use it. We used it. We use it. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna be using this app making videos and then having some form of WeChat uh, video conferences with our students <laughs> following a schedule. Oh my God, I don't know what, I don't know how that's gonna be. I don't want, I don't know what that, I have no idea what that's gonna, that's gonna be like. That's gonna be a mess, I think. If you know Chinese students, you know, you know, you probably can anticipate what's gonna happen. If you don't know Chinese students, uh, Maybe you don't know what's gonna happen, but if you do, if you're in China, you you probably know what's gonna happen, and that's why I am not looking forward to this. But I have to do it as my job. All right, so I guess I'll end it here. Um, so this is what's going on. We're gonna be teaching online for a few weeks. Hopefully, it's not more than two, but I think it will be more than two, perhaps three. <sighs> and that's it. We're gonna be using some app to record the videos and just some WeChat video conferences. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, ideas, problems, no I'm kidding. <laughs> Tell your psychiatrist your problems, not me. <laughs> yeah, just drop them in the comment section. Just subscribe, like if you found found it helpful and I'm okay. Thanks for, thanks for asking. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the? Where did it go? Where's my screen recording? Okay, found it. Okay. Bye bye, Saint <laughs>